try to put down all your burdens of the day. Give the mind some free time to look after itself. We each have our responsibilities, but there comes a time when you have to put them all aside and be responsible for your mind, to look after the mind. Some people say this is selfish, but actually it's not. The better you can maintain the good quality in your mind, the more you'll be able to meet with your other responsibilities. It's like eating. If you've got work to do and you have to stop to eat, the work doesn't get done while you're eating. But if you didn't, do, didn't eat, you wouldn't have the strength to do the work. And so when you're meditating, you're feeding the mind while you're giving a place to rest so it can gather its strength. Because we live in this world by means of strength of body and strength of mind. And strength of body is something that develops for a certain number of years, and then it starts turning around and going the other way. It starts waning away, waning away. But the strength of the mind doesn't have to be that way. You can maintain your strength of the mind all the way to the end, if you train it. So take this opportunity to sit down and train the mind some. Give it good work to do inside, work that strengthens it, develops your conviction that, yes, the mind is the most important thing in life. And it really can make a difference. The state of your mind can make a difference in what you do and say and think, and that's what shapes your life. So a conviction that this is a good use of your time. And the shape of your mind is something you want to keep maintaining as long as you can. And from there, the other strengths develop. Persistence, mindfulness, concentration, discernment. These all grow out of that conviction. So make sure that when you come to the meditation, your conviction is strong. The mind doesn't want to sit down, be with the breath, reminded of why it's a good place to be, why it's a good thing to be doing. So the mind is happy to do it. That's how the effort gets done. That's how it gets energized. So as John Sweat always used to say, make sure you come to the meditation with an attitude of conviction and confidence. This is what the mind really needs, a place to rest, a place to gather its strength. And the meditation is the best way to do that.